Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I am in Costa Rica. I got in late last night so I'm just doing my intro right now. I had a solid night's sleep although it felt like a super long day because I got started late in the day and every time I get started late in the day I arrive at my destination very late and I tend to feel very exhausted but the good news is I don't have to leave too early. I woke up early, I've gotten ready, I'm going to have breakfast and then I'm going to head over, has yes, already had I'm going to head over to a wildlife sanctuary and I'm going to go see some animals. So this isn't a free activity. This is, from what I read online, it's going to cost anywhere between 27 and 30 US dollars. But the money goes to help those animals that they've rescued. So I'm all for it. And I get to see some animals that are native to Costa Rica. So I'll show you what my view looks like and then come with me downstairs. We'll have breakfast and then we'll get on with our day. Come with me. Let's go. So this is the view, um, just look past the rooftops and you will see beautiful, hilly, green Costa Rican mountains. I mean San Jose, Costa Rica, I don't remember if I mentioned that or not. Look how beautiful. That right there, oh I didn't know it was so close. That is the football stadium at La Sabana Park. I'll link my other video below because I have visited La Sabana Park and I kind of toured the outside of that stadium. And that is also the location where Coldplay kicked off their Spheres tour. And they chose that location because of its green properties. It's very, um, they are implementing their lots of different systems that are very good for the environment. I just started, I guess I will do a room tour, although it's very messy because I just came and crashed last night. So here you go. Here's my suitcase. <laughs> we have a chair. We have a slept in bed. We have an iron, <laughs> ironing board and iron where I iron these shorts that I'm wearing. <laughs> we have a desk with some pantyhose on them. Yeah, sorry guys. And uh, a messy counter where I quickly got ready. I will straighten up before I leave, but yeah. Okay, let's head out now, enough of that. After breakfast, I went ahead and booked my Uber to take me to the Refugio Animal de Costa Rica. And the cost was 3,590 Costa Rican Colon, which equates to about $6.69 in American dollars. I really, really wanted to see a sloth while in Costa Rica, so I found this animal sanctuary that was not very far from me. Um, if you are interested, you can visit their website. I will put it in here, and uh, it's totally worth visiting. The shelter receives up to 1,500 wildlife animal cases per year from animals that were found inside homes to animals that were electrocuted on public electric lines. All of the animals are treated according to their needs. Sometimes it's veterinarian care and other times it's just relocating them into safe wild areas. All wildlife animals that are received at the shelter are intended to return to wildlife freedom as soon as they are ready but there are always some cases that will not be able to go back because it would mean death for them. So they are given the best care and spaces where they can be happy and healthy and become ambassadors of education through their guided tours. In case you didn't realize it, you've been riding along with me on my Uber ride up to the sanctuary. I went from like the town area like the downtown area up through the mountains up to where this wildlife sanctuary is located and here we are 
I made it to the animal sanctuary. And here's a little wind blowing because the window is really down and the wind is just blowing like really hard. But I'm gonna go in here and have a look now. Once I got here, I went into the little gift shop. I showed my mobile ticket to the cashier and then she called up a guide and my tour guide, I was the only one in the group. So it was like a very personal one-on-one um, -on -one experience. I was able to ask questions and listen to all of the information that he had about the animals. First off, are two little rattlesnakes, neotropical rattlesnakes. Oh, those are tropical rattlesnakes? Neotropical. Oh, neotropical. Okay. It's basically the same thing as you would see up in the U.S. Okay. So yeah, basically the same thing. In Costa Rica, they have a very similar behavior. These are found mostly in hotter areas of, of the country. Up north, where it's much less Okay. Okay. Now, now, as you may know, in the U.S., these are really common pets. In Costa Rica, these are sold with very, um, very strong expression. They're nearly very attentive. As you can see, they're very reactive. Now these are some of the most common in the country, as you can guess, mostly hiding in dense forests and uh, mountain ranges. The name in the Spanish, which is Bejuquilla, comes from Bejuco, which is basically this. These little thick tree vines. Oh, them. yeah, they look like them. Yeah. Countries. But there's also, also the largest species in Costa Rica, commonly reaching three, sorry, six to nine feet, or even almost 11 feet at top size. Some of them can be three feet. The cool thing about snakes is that um, you may have noticed that they dislocate their mouth entirely just to swallow mm -hmm. things much bigger than them. But they can also dislocate it to the sides. To the sides? Wow. Yeah. Not only up and down, but also to the sides. You can see camouflage mm -hmm. in the box. It's a little box turtle. Yes. Um, in the way that people have synthetic stuff. You see them other stuff, just not too heavy. Next up, we have the. 40-ish something going mountain. So as you can see, there's a wide variety in size. You can find these from, from Panama, just below Costa Rica, all the way to Argentina. Just naturally, and the blue ones are from other countries, some people mix these together to create hybrids. Is that full grown? Yep. It's full grown female. Male, males could be slightly bigger, but yeah. <laughs> These guys are almost completely neat. You can just go like that. Wow. Yeah, really They're also commonly known as spectacle owls because of the little the patterns. Patterns are the people because of that. So, did they come knowing that they were going to be able to do that? Oh, no, they, uh, they do it over time. <laughs> um, that's not my favorite. No, why? And the thing is that for a while I was in charge of this. Um, uh -huh. So I'll step in at least once a day, you know, try to clean up, feed him, do all the stuff. Like that. And he started holding a grudge against me. Really? Not that I'm just doing it. Right. Two of these are the purples. Oh, look at the little tan. They look little protein. These are two little Brazilian monkeys, commonly known as marmosets, which are the ones you would see in the movie Rio, for example. Oh, okay. Basically the same species. Oh, their faces are so tiny. Yeah, they're super small. Now, this is full grown. These are actually pretty old adults in other places, which is why they traffic so well, um. as you would guess. So, unfortunately, these were brought illegally to the country. And since their mouth is almost identical to real piranhas, it's very identical. However, these are not carnivores in any way. And they're about 10 times as big as a regular product. Those are the... And this big one in the water is actually one of the first who came to the shelter about 13 years ago. And both of these are American trees. However, out in nature, these can reach all the way to even... How much is it? Um, about 20, 21 feet. Wow. So how much do you think the big one weighs? I'm not sure, however, uh, 14 to 15 feet. Wow, it's, that is huge! Now, here you can see we got a wide variety of birds. We'll get to see this in closer a little better from the other side. Okay. Yeah, you can go ahead and take pictures. While here, we have my favorite, the green macaw. And this is the largest sea tacet in Costa Rica. 
Commonly reaching almost three feet in size. Ping on water. And also my favorite little spoiled girl. Hi baby. Mm. It's so cute. Now again, most animals here are very very smart and selective, so she likes me more than most micro workers. This mommy being fed by uh, yeah, I'm allowed it. <laughs> Marley here is a two-tailed dog. He's about 10 years old, so they can live all the way to 30 years. He's really young. Though, so. And this recently became a national symbol of the street cat. Oh, he's so cute. Tight to these lines, and they uh, cut them a little bit, they get shot. Oh, no. And sometimes it's just not good quality, so they get electrocuted. <laughs> and this happens very often. So last year, for example, we had Almost three babies with the same story. And these are not only a pretty aggressive territorial species, but they're also omnivores. So they can eat little insects, lizards, or even the baby birds from the nest. They can take it solid hole right away. They can be pretty nasty. And they're pretty common throughout most of Costa Rica, especially in Central Africa. But this little guy had an accent where. Que grosero! It's cute. And then here. We have the white taste monkeys. Not only can we not release them because of that, but also an external community to see them as intruders and kill them. Oh, Phenomenal. So they wouldn't survive. Yeah, these guys are staying here. But they have their own pack, however, they get along, you can see, they play around. And there's rarely any conflicts at all. Feels like a family. So whenever she walks and turns, she goes like that. Very sharp. It's just like this little thing. Yeah, like a little tick. Yeah. So now this is also for males. The males, which are Guapo, which is the Alpha, and Jorge, or George, uh, they're less affected. Hi, buddy. Yeah. Don't try this, this is because he knows me. But because he's the Alpha, he's actually my feet came in the top corner of the, of the enclosure, and the rest. So the others have yeah. a chance? Yeah, we fit them like on a little surface. So, double trouble. And he's sitting right now very active actually. He usually doesn't move much for the entire day. Why is he so active right now? I'll throw in the water. Oh, he okay. likes this one. He's very cute. Now, both of these are reticulated pythons. Even in the most dense part of downtown San Jose, you can see these guys sitting all the over. Days. Wow. Yeah. So, fortunately, they're not endangered. Even though a lot of people still keep them after a while. And even though many of these can fly, they don't have a pack or a pair to move with, which mm. is important for the species. For survival. Yes. So many of these are falling negative with these. Sol! Sol! Oh, can you walk on There he is. Yeah, he's probably sleeping. Yeah, the rope over the pizza. Come here. Oh, it's so cute! Here, I got one for you too. Hold on. Wait. Are these your favorite? Uh, not necessarily, no. but I don't like them. Do you have favorites? Oh, Fiorella, the green Yeah. Nicole. Definitely. Her eyes a lot. We incorporated months ago. They get along. I'm fine, it's okay. We'll see a couple more later on, too. Oh, they're so neat. It's like they have their own pet. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. I don't know who's whose pet. Just ignore each other. That one's very sweet. That's amazing. Yeah. Now, this specific subspecies, so they're constantly endangered. We try to preserve these as much as possible because if they disappear from Costa Rica, they disappear everywhere. Aww. And this one is actually a male, which tends to be smaller than the female. So I think that could be maybe like one in the third disease. Wow. And these are mostly uh, concentrated in, again, very high places. And like, <laughs> she's fine. She's one of our best ones here. And these little iguanas, you can see all over Costa Rica. And these are much more common than a person. They're big. Yep. And all of these were. So this is uh, Durga's father, the one that we saw before. Oh, okay. As you can guess, this one is an older male. Now, he's actually a pretty, pretty female who's an adult. And there's a little juvenile in the back, if you can see behind those. Oh, dry I leaves. see. There he is. Now, this one is Sprinkles. Hi, Sprinkles. He's about five years old, but also an adult because they're for 20 years. Hi, sweetie. Hey, cute. And as you can see, she's very, very mm -hmm. sweet and very she loving. Likes Ow. Yeah. You not? You know. Tastes good. <laughs> I don't think she cares. Now, in Costa Rica, these are pretty old nationals. Now, this is a full grown uh, wildcat, which is the second smallest uh, species in Costa Rica. This, this is how you earn Pancho's trust. You gotta feed him snacks and treats for years on end. So, this little touch of hand. It took Aww. me like six or seven months to work out. Really? Oh, bien, 
this is not something that everybody does no of course not. and we're still working working on a relationship no i just finished my tour given by victor at the animal refuge and he was so good this visit to the animal sanctuary was completely worth it but now it's time to head back to the hotel and get ready to go to work okay and so that concludes my time here in san jose costa rica it is now time for me to fly back to miami i had so much fun today i made the most out of my time um i went to visit the wildlife refuge the sanctuary here in san jose and i learned that most of those animals they are are all of those animals i should all of those animals have been rescued so they've come from like dark places where people buy them on the illegal market and they have them as pets and they don't they should not be kept as pets so sad stories um, it was also to spread awareness. They also have rescues where animals are hurt out in the wild. So they will go rescue them, rehabilitate them, and then let them go back out in the wild. Um, and sometimes um, the animals, they've just been, you know, in such a domesticated situation, like held as a pet, that they don't know how to function on the outside world. So that like when i say outside world i mean in their own natural habitat they haven't they never acquired those skills so they have to keep them there but they do provide them of with a very nice life and i got to see a sloth and that's what i wanted to do here in costa rica so time for me to jet off and head back to miami and this will conclude my trip uh, if you enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up if you want to see more videos please hit the subscribe button. Until next time.